Genesis 34-1-31, and Leah's daughter Dinah, whom she had borne to Jacob, went out to see the girls of the country, too and Shechem the son of Hamor the Hivite, the prince of the country, saw her and took her and lay with her and deflowered her, and he was seriously taken with Jacob's daughter Dinah, and fell in love with the girl and talked to her of love. For and Shechem said to his father Hamor get me this child for my wife. 5 And Jacob heard that he had defiled his daughter Dinah, but his sons were out on the range with the stock, and Jacob kept quiet till they came in. 6 And Shechem's father Hamor came out to Jacob to talk with him, 7 And Jacob's sons had come in off the range when they heard, and the men were pained and very angry because he had made a scandal in Israel, lying with Jacob's daughter, which is not done. 8 And Hamor spoke with them, saying My son Shechem has a fancy for your girl, give her to him as wife, 9 And have matrimonial relations with us, give us, your daughters and take ours, 10 And you shall live with us and have the country open to you, trade in it and hold real estate in it. 11 And Shechem said to her father and brothers Please do it, and I will give what you say. 12 Set the price and the gift good and high, and I will give as you say, but give me the girl for my wife. 13 And Jacob's sons gave Shechem and his father Hamor an insidious answer, for the reason that he had defiled their sister Dinah, 14 And said to them We cannot do such a thing as this, to give our sister to a man with an uncircumcised body, because that would be a slur on us. 15 We will agree to it on this condition only, if you will be like us having every male of yours circumcised, 16 and we will give you our daughters and take yours, and live with you and become one people with you. 17 but if you will not listen to us as to being circumcised we will take our girl and go. 18 and Hamor and Hamor's son Shechem thought well of their proposal, 19 and the young man was not backward about doing the thing, because he had taken a fancy to Jacob's daughter, and he was the most looked up to of all his family. 20 And Hamor and his son Shechem went into the gate of their city, and talked to the men of their city, saying 21 These men are peaceable, let them live with us in the country and trade in it, there is plenty of room for them in the country, let us marry their daughters and give them ours. The men will agree to live, with us, becoming one people with us, 22 On this condition only, that every male of ours be circumcised the same as they are. 23 We get their assets and effects and all their cattle, you see, only let us agree to their condition and they will, live with us. 24 And all who went out of the gate of Hamor's city listened to him and his son Shechem and had every male in their families circumcised, all who went out of the gate of his city. 25 And on the third day, while they were suffering, Jacob's two sons Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, took their swords and fell upon the city without fear of risk and killed every male, twenty-six and killed Hamor and his son Shechem as if they were at war, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went out, and Jacob's sons fell upon the dead and plundered the city for having defiled their sister, twenty-eight took their sheep and goats and horned cattle and donkeys and what was in the city and what was out on the range, twenty-nine and all their wealth, and carried off as slaves all their children and women, and plundered everything indoors. 30 And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi You have bred trouble for me, setting me at deadly feud with the inhabitants of the country, the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And, we being few people, they will get together against us and strike us down, and I and my family will be rooted out. 31 But they said Is our sister to be treated like a prostitute?